We've all been there. You're listening to a sermon or your favorite Christian podcast, and you hear something like... Salvific status. I don't even know what that is. Substitutionary atonement. Is that a made-up word? He kept imagining God as this sort of weird, diffuse mass. It just doesn't make sense. Many of us want to learn more about God, the Bible, and theology, but the answers we get are confusing. Or we're too intimidated or embarrassed to even ask our questions in the first place. Fortunately, kids don't have that problem. You know the story of Adam and Eve? Mm Mm-hmm. What do you think about that story? How did they not know they were naked? That's a good point. From Holy Post Media, it's Curiously Caitlin. I'm Caitlin Chess, and I've been studying theology for a long time. I have a master's degree in theology, and I'm working on my doctorate. But I also believe that theology isn't just for theologians. It should be for the whole church. So on this weekly podcast, we will take questions from some of the littlest members of the church. How many eyes does God have? People say, like, God is always with you. How does he, like, multiply? And, like, how, 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 why are you not able to see him? And bring on scholars to answer them in a way that actually makes sense. This is going to get weird, really weird for a little bit. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and sometimes those scholars need a little help. There's an instance where you see this kind of dual predication. It's like there's... Well, you're going to have to explain that. <laughs> Curiously Caitlin, a podcast that makes theology make sense, is available now on Apple Podcasts and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Make sure to follow so you don't miss any episodes.